Is Uniswap actually perpetuating a crypto scam right now? These scamming traders? We're going to be talking about in this video what's going on. I just saw a Reddit post and it really sort of gave me a lot of concern. And I feel like this is something that people who are coming into crypto need to be aware of. They need to be very careful. Okay, first things first, the crypto market is exploding right now. We are starting the next bull cycle most likely. And so there's going to be a lot of people coming into crypto. There's going to be a lot of people getting reintroduced to decentralized finance. And because of that, I believe there's going to be a lot more of experience similar to what I just saw on this Reddit post. So let's just talk about something for a moment. Uniswap. Uniswap is known as a decentralized exchange. Uniswap is very different from Coinbase. And this is important. I'm laying the groundwork so when we take a look at this Reddit post, it will make sense to you. Coinbase is run by a company, which means that every function of this business, of using this website, is run by another company. Meaning if you deposit money into Coinbase, there is somebody else that actually has accounts and they are holding your funds in that account. And when you want to get that money back, they're going to have to give it back to you. For example, if you have crypto on Coinbase and you try to send those that crypto from Coinbase to, say, some sort of gambling website they don't like, for example, Coinbase will not allow you. You need their permission. They will not allow you to send your funds to some sort of rogue wallet. Which, if you understand how crypto is supposed to work, it's supposed to be based on decentralization, theoretically. Meaning, the blockchain exists independent of third parties and it functions independent of third parties. Now, when you see something like Uniswap, Uniswap is decentralized at its core. The website, the, the, the website you see here, the user interface, is created by a company. But the underlying technology, when you send funds or trade funds on Uniswap, nobody's holding your funds at all. It is all done with a smart contract. The, the best way I can think of it, I think the best analogy I can think of is on your computer at home, if you want to use a program, nobody's going to stop you from using that program. If you store something on your hard drive at home, nobody's going to you know, be able to prevent you from retrieving it. But if you were to put something up into the cloud and use a company like Amazon, theoretically, if Amazon wanted to cut off your access to that content, they could do that. If you're using the AWS system, which is owned by Amazon, they could prevent you from accessing that content. Decentralization doesn't require permission. Centralization does require permission. Okay, so why are we talking about this? I want to take a look at, I want you to take a look at what I saw on Reddit. And this sort of kind of blew my mind. This is a couple of days ago. Um, let me just try to bring it up here. Solana scam. Okay, about 20 days ago, I bought a coin called Solana through Uniswap. The coin has been growing and has been making exponential gains, but the moment I want to make a swap or sell the coin, it won't let me, it being Uniswap. And the worst part of all is that every time I try to make a swap, it eats my ETH and does not carry out the swap. This is a scam, and Uniswap steals blatantly, because if the sale or swap is not carried out, they should not charge ETH. And here I leave the contract, here I leave the contract number of said Solana currency. And another thing, if this currency, like many others, is a scam, why does Uniswap allow you to buy them at or at least give you a warning? I need a response from Uniswap, and if I am wrong and Solana is not a scam, then Uniswap has to help me make the swap or sell the coin or return all the ETH they've been taken from me from the uh, from the times the swap has not been made. So if you're new to, if you've been in crypto for a while, you've been in DeFi for a while. I mean, reading this is a little bit hard because you're like, oh my goodness, it's crazy. A few things here. I don't know anything about Solana. It may or may not be a scam. Solana may be a good token, but oftentimes in crypto, a lot of scammers create lookalike tokens. It's very important that you go to CoinGecko or Coin Market Cap and you get the actual right token address. And make certain that you're swapping the correct token on Uniswap. Don't just use the Uniswap. Certain. Don't come over here and be like, oh, I want to launch the app. And then you're going to come in here and you're just going to be able to like search. In fact, let me just see what happens here if I go search Solana. 
Solana. See all these different options here? All of these are, most of these are probably going to be fake. That's, that's the whole point. They're not real. Okay, and only one, maybe this one, who knows? I'm not going to say that this is the right one. Only one of these is, is the actual token. So you need to actually put the token in with a token address. But let's just address the concerns. Let's. So I don't know anything about Solana. Solana. I don't know anything about that. But neither here nor there. He's saying that Uniswap is taking his ETH every time he goes to make a trade. Now, this is logical in centralized finance. You know, when you go to make a trade, for example, on Coinbase, they charge you a fee, just like most financial brokers. When you make a trade, they charge a fee. In decentralized finance, you're not getting charged a fee if the trade doesn't go through. And the fees you are charged are very, very minor, micro. But the fee and the fee doesn't go to Uniswap. It goes to liquidity providers, but that's a whole nother explanation for another day. Uniswap does not uh, make the well, they do make their money off fees. But the, the, the way it works is the fees primarily go to liquidity providers. But here's the here's the point. When the trade doesn't go through, there's no fees, period, end of story. There's no fees. But you're going to be charged gas fees. In crypto, anytime you make a decentralized transaction using your wallet, depending on the chain you're on, you're going to be charged gas fees. That's what's happening right here. So please be careful. It's not Uniswap's responsibility that you are making needless transactions because you just are unaware. It's very important that we self-educate ourselves. We live in a society where everybody wants somebody else to tell them what to do. Listen, and the crazy thing that blows my mind is crypto is very masculine dominated. It is 95% men in this space. And the fact that we have men who are like, I need somebody else to tell me what to do so I can feel good about doing it or it's someone else's fault or someone else's responsibility. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just say this, fellas, it's our responsibility to make certain that we don't get scammed. So this is this is why I'm making this video. I want to help educate us. I want us to be better. I believe that we can all win in crypto. So first and foremost, if you go to make a swap and it doesn't go through, you're still going to be charged gas fees. And unfortunately, on Ethereum, those gas fees can be quite hefty sometimes. The other thing uh, that I want to make it clear is he says he needs a uh, uh, response from Uniswap. You, you, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. Also, he says it's Uniswap's responsibility for putting the, the scam coin. Uniswap didn't put that scam coin up there. Anybody, it's decentralized. Anybody can put any token up there. They don't need it. And here's the beauty of that. If you wanted to go public as a company, on uh, as a traditional company, you want to take your company public and allow it to get traded on the stock exchange. First of all, you would have to be worth millions and millions of dollars in most cases, and it would cost you, in some cases, millions of dollars just to be able to have the privilege of some Wall Street bank somewhere allowing you to go onto the stock exchange. In crypto, you don't need the blessing of the rich. You don't need the blessing of the elite. You can launch any token you want, and if somebody else wants to get access to it, they can trade it. That's the beauty of decentralization. But it does allow people to put scams up there. But if we want to have control of our finances and we want to be able to have access to the same financial ecosystem that the mega rich have in traditional finance, then we have to accept the fact of we have to be a little bit aware and we can't expect to the quote unquote mega rich to protect us through their brokerages. Okay, I'm on a little bit of a soapbox here. I just want you to know, be very, very careful, ladies and gentlemen. And there's a couple of good responses down here. Just to recap, Uniswap is a decentralized exchange, decentralization, decentralized. So Uniswap don't control coin pairs which coin pairs are listed as opposed to centralized exchanges. That's why centralized exchanges like a centralized Coinbase is a centralized exchange. That's why centralized exchanges make listings and delisting announcements. It's also why they charge fees to get listed. It's also why you can't find some of your, your favorite small altcoins on most centralized exchange because those millionaires who run those exchanges haven't given the blessings of your favorite altcoin. Okay, De DEXs or decentralized exchanges like Uniswap merely provide the infrastructure. And when, when we say provide the infrastructure, we mean the front end to make it easy to use. And it's up to coin owners or individuals to create swap pools and add liquidity. You play stupid games by selling, buying some random 
crap coin, you win stupid prize for being scammed. Okay, I think this is a little bit harsh, and I don't want, I mean, I think this is a little bit harsh. I want us to be better people. I want us to protect ourselves. So I'm making this video. Is Uniswap scamming anyone? No. Is Ethereum blockchain scamming anyone? No. Are there scams in this ecosystem? Yes. Be very, very careful. I have a video where I talked about common DeFi scams. I'll link that on the end. If you want to find out how I'm investing to be able to earn $1,000 per month in semi-passive income, I'll put that video on the end as well. Thank you so much for watching. This is Crypto Wealth. If you appreciate this, smash that like button. I'm out of here.